Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, D-Field here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP today. Guys, we have an epic adventure planned in front of us. But before we begin, we're going to check our shop. So, you guys told me what I should be selling for the meantime since we are the first big open shop right now. And so I have iron ingots, iron, uh, oak planks, because oak planks are pretty important when you guys are just starting out. I have redstone because I have a lot of redstone to mine. So I just have that there in case anybody needs some emergency. But the main majority of my shop right now is food. So cooked chicken, baked potato, cooked pork chops, and steak. So as you guys can see, I have these pretty well stocked for the meantime. And uh, when they start running out, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll start um, actually using them or refilling them but it looks here like here somebody made a f their first payment of uh, iron ore i asked for ingots but ore is not too bad i'll click that myself and uh yeah so there goes my first couple of payments our shop is doing very well guys thank you guys for all of your uh suggestions on what i should be selling in order to make the most money and let's get to it so what we're gonna go on today guys is we're gonna go on an epic adventure we're gonna try to find we're gonna go on an epic adventure into the nether and hopefully we will be able to find the stuff that we need to do in order to fully uh, maximize or fully fix our villager farm. So, you guys did well on the comment section in, in the previous video. So, right before this video starts, guys, leave a comment in the comment sections below. Hit that like button for me. Just smash that like button, guys. And um, let me know this exactly. So, there is a, there's changes in the 1.8 breeding system where... I basically need to do extra work in order to have the villagers spawning. So the one main problem with that is I need help coming up with ideas on how to actually lure a zombie villager into my house. So what do you guys think? Leave it in the comment sections below. Do you guys think I should just wait around at nighttime? Hopefully one spawns and then uh, try to lure it that way or should I... Um, should I not even try to go for a zombie villager and try to just look for an actual uh, village again and try to make another long train track? But that'll probably, if I do that route, that'll probably take a couple of hours, especially finding it and then railing out all the trail track or the train tracks. And then, yeah, so let me know what you guys want me to do. But for today, we are going on this epic adventure. So what we're going to need is, uh, in case I do go get the zombie or the... Yeah, the zombie villagers. I'm going to need to get, um, like, the materials needed in order to transform them into the normal form. So, what we're going to need to do is I'm, I'm going to need to find some blaze rods. So, this is this is the, this is is part of the epic adventure, guys. We're going to go into the nether. This is pro The nether is probably one of the scariest things to go about right now. Because there's, there's so many easy ways to die. One one gassed fireball and you're screwed and then you know just just stuff like that so i'm gonna try to play it carefully i just walked into the fire like an idiot but i'm gonna try to play it carefully i don't really know i'm gonna try to get into this nether fortress right here actually because um why not if there's another fortress there must be blaze right so we're gonna climb up here slowly hopefully if i fall if i fall oh my gosh i have all my good pickaxes on me if i die i'm just gonna be crying <clears throat> Hopefully I don't get blown off by anything. Oh, there's a blaze right here already. Okay. No, there's a blaze rod. Oh, that would not have been an epic adventure, but that would have been really, <laughs> really, really convenient in order to uh, end, end this portion of this epic adventure really quickly. <laughs> All right, let's just mine this way. Looks like here's the fences, so we're getting close. Where is the roof? Here's the roof. All right, so here we are. We're on, on top of this nether fortress. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to try to find some blaze. So uh, what we're going to need is I'm, I need a blaze rod in order to make a brewing stand. So the bre Ooh, there's a thing here already. Wow, nice. Okay, so we're going to wait for this to spawn. Grab a couple of blaze rods. And we need a brewing stand because in order to cure a zombie villager... We're going to need to make a weakness potion, and then after the weakness potion, we're going to need to make... Why isn't this spawning? After the weakness potion, we're going to need to make a golden apple using gold ingots and then an apple. So, 
Yeah, we're gonna here we go. Here's the spawn. All right, so we're gonna try to kill these blazes I'm gonna actually collect like ten rods nice. That was the first achievement get into fire very very nice That that, that adventure actually wasn't <laughs> Too epic. I thought I was gonna have to travel like 20 minutes into the nether looking for a fortress And I completely forgot that there's another fortress right in front of my uh right in front of the nether hub So nice and convenient for us. So I'm gonna grab these blaze rods and then, so yeah, I'm going to need to make a brewing stand. So the very first brewing stand on my SMP series. And then we're going to need to gr gather the materials in order to create a weakness potion. So how to, to cure a zombie villager, the, the, one, the stuff that you have to do is, one, you need to, um, need to make the weakness potion. So to make a weakness potion, you need a, a piece of sugar. You need a, f a spider eye and you need a uh, brown mushroom. So the, the the one part that might be too hard, like might be a little bit hard to get is the is the is the spider eyes because I don't really have a spider grinder, but I can probably just wait until it's nighttime and then kill the spiders that spawn uh, during that time period. So I'll be doing that very shortly in an episode uh well uh, probably this episode i'll be making those weakness potions and of course i have a lot of i have a couple of stacks of golden ingots from my previous adventures like from strip mining and whatnot so i should be able to make the apples fairly easily i think i just have to collect apples because i'm not sure if i have any apples actually saved up in any of my chests all right so i got got five blazer or four blaze rods here let's just stick with that so it looks like it's not too it's actually not too what the heck it looks like it's not too far to actually get into uh, the blaze rod area here as oh my god No, 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 no I have bad experiences with withers and we are not dealing with your stuff right now with mr. Wither All right, so what I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna play a little bit risky here I'm gonna jump onto my uh my cover here and instead of <laughs> instead of having to walk all the way around I'm just gonna <laughs> break this hole and replace the block all right there we go <laughs> shortcuts for the win all right so in order to make a brewing stand i actually don't i actually have no idea how to make a brewing stand so let me let me look this up real quickly brewing stand minecraft all right so in order to make a brewing stand we need uh blaze rod and cobblestone that's simple enough so we need Blaze rod. Oh, I already have cobblestone. So you're gonna need to do to make the to brewing stand three cobblestone across the bottom, and then a blaze rod in the middle, and boom, there you go. We have our we have our very first brewing stand on Minecraft. So let's put this right here. Oh, right here, and there we go. So now let's start gathering the materials in order to make a uh, weakness potion. So as 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 I was saying earlier, to make a zombie villager get cured, you need to splash a weakness potion on it, and then quickly after you need to feed it a golden apple, and then after like three to four minutes, it'll transform into a into a villager. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need three glass bottles, obviously. And uh, do I have a water source in around here? I think there's a river out here, so I'll just do that. So we're gonna fill these water bottles and put them into the brewing stand. And now we need three different ingredients. So we need a sugar, we need gunpowder, we need a brown mushroom, and we need a spider eye. So let me look through my chest. If I have any spider eye, there we go, that's perfect. So I have three spider eyes from like my past excursions. I just dumped it into my dump chest. So there's one ingredient right there. We have a spider eye. Now we need to get sugar. So to get sugar, you need to get you need to break sugar cane and then just put the sugar cane onto a crafting table and it'll automatically turn into a <clears throat> into the uh, what's it called? Into the sugar that we need. So sugar cane, put it onto crafting table and you'll be you'll be able to turn it into sugar. So I'm just going to run through here. Oops, I accidentally broke that. So I got to replace that. Bam bam. Alrighty, so let's get sugar. So there's four sugar. And then we need to get brown mushrooms. So let's see. I don't really know where brown mushroom is. That a zombie villager? No, it's not. All right. So I'm gonna pause the video here really quickly. I'm gonna go find some brown mushrooms in a cave or something, and we'll be back shortly. Uh, once I find some mushrooms, and then we'll continue to discuss. Look at this. We'll continue to discuss the things that we are going to do. So yeah, we'll be right back. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button and show some support and we will be right back. 
Alright guys, we are back and uh, I decided to go into the nether to actually get these brown mushrooms as you guys can see here They're pretty they're easily found in the nether and this is fairly close by to our nether hub So this isn't too long of a journey for me But yeah, here we go. Here's the brown mushrooms just gonna collect up a couple here so I can save up in case I do need brown Oh god, there's fire in case I do need brown mushrooms later and uh, Yeah, let's continue. So there's our nether hub right there. See as you guys can see I didn't have to travel too far and now we have the main ingredients in order to uh, make this uh, full-on potion in order to transform a zombie villager back to a normal villager. So you guys might be asking at this point, why are you trying to cure a zombie villager instead of just minecarting more villagers? And the simple answer to that is the villager or the village that we were trying to grab all of the villagers from is completely cleared out. So apparently when I was gone, I guess a bunch of zombies went into the village and killed all of them in there. So none of those uh, villagers are alive anymore. All right. So now first step in order to make a weakness potion, we need to take the sugar. Uh, we need to take a brown mushroom, so brown mushroom and the, the spider eye, in order to make a fermented spider eye. So all we need to do is put a sugar here, spider eye here, and then brown mushroom. I don't think, I honestly don't think it goes in any specific order, as you guys can see. So I made three f fermented spider eyes, and then now, after the fermented spider eye, we need to get gunpowder. So I have gunpowder somewhere in here. Here we go. So gunpowder, and we can start the brewing process. So first, you got to add in the fermented spider eye. And that will make the weakness potion and just we'll give that a couple of seconds to brew up and then so this this batch right here will make three three weakness potions in order to be able to transform a zombie so if we're lucky we'll be able to transform um three separate zombie villagers in order to uh in order to get this job done so here's the weakness potion and in order to transform it into a splash potion all you have to do is add a piece of gunpowder to it and then there you go there's your splash potion and then now, all we need to do, final ingredient, is um, we need to make a golden apple. So do I have any apples anywhere? I think I ate them all. So I'm going to grab my axe. I'm going to go into my forest real quick while that's brewing. And I'm going to try to get a golden apple from one of the trees. So hopefully one of the trees will drop a golden apple and we'll be all good to go. Do, do, do. So as you guys can see, my tree I haven't really been using my tree farm because I haven't been needing to get wood for anything uh, special. So that's really it's really, really nice that I have the tree farm. So whenever I do need it, it's just a quick walk away and I'll be able to grab like a stack of oak if I ever need to uh, if I ever need to build anything special. So, yeah, we'll be right back really shortly, guys. I'm going to do some wood cutting off of camera in order for me to get an apple. And then once I get the apple, we'll be prepared to start looking for a zombie villager. So it's nighttime right now. So let's actually do this. Instead of pausing the video, I'm going to run around right now since it's nighttime and I'm going to look for a zombie villager spawn. So this is the one main time to do it because obviously mobs only spawn in the daytime or in the nighttime. Sorry. So here's a normal zombie villager. And I was reading up on it earlier today. Ooh, look at that. It's fermented spider, or spider eye. So I was reading up on it a little bit earlier. And uh, somebody told me that um, all the mob spawns in the overworld, about 5% of all zombie spawns are a zombie villager. So that's a really low percentage, which means that it's very unlikely that we'll find a zombie villager very easily. But nonetheless, we'll keep looking. And uh, we'll see what happens in order to uh, get these villagers. So, yeah, I'm actually going to pause the video here. And uh, hopefully I can find a villager. And if not, we will kind of just pause and, uh, well, I'll, I'll unpause the video after I find a villager. And once I've successfully trapped them. So, we'll be right back, guys. Thank you guys for watching so far. If you guys are still tuned in, stay tuned. And uh, we will find that zombie villager and transform our very, very first one. So, we'll be right back. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, we are back. And I have some good news and some bad news. So, well, we're almost done with making the potion. The potion should be fully brewed up. But look at this, guys. We found the other villager. So, in the previous episode, the, one of the villagers ran off randomly into my house. And I had no idea where he went. Here he is. He's back. I brought him back into here using the, the cave system. But basically, he was here in this room over here. 
and he was just hiding in this corner right here. He was just standing right here. I forgot. I thought I hit the record button when I found him, but I obviously wasn't. And uh, I was like, oh, but whatever. So anyways, we found that one villager again. So there's three villagers in there in order for us to utilize them later. But let's get to this. So here's the weakness potion that we needed. And uh, what I need to do now is I need to make a golden apple. So where's my ores? Here's my go golden ores. I'm going to grab one of the weakness potions. And then, wow, my inventory is really messed up. So let me take a second here, guys, and organize my inventory because I am very... It, looks, it just looks ugly to me when my inventory is just everywhere. I'm going to leave that in there, put that in there. I'm going to take this, put that in there, put that in there. Why do I have two stacks of food? Well, let's put the food in here for right now. So it looks like it's almost nighttime, so we'll be able to try to spawn... We'll be able to try to find actually a villager. So what I did was I have a little cave system below my base here and I took down all the torches around this area. So well, let me take this one down. So all around here, I took down the torches. So hopefully some zombie villagers spawn in here. And since we're underground, it'll be a lot easier to control them because I don't have to worry about the sunlight. So we're kind of just waiting for those to spawn in. Actually, it's almost daytime. What the heck? But yeah, so let's make our... Um, <clears throat> While it's the daytime, let's make our, we made our splash healing potion, and now all we need to do is make a golden apple. So you need to put a golden, an apple in the middle, and then gold ingots all around, and there's your golden apple. So we have everything we need in order to uh, make this zombie, vill uh, if we find one, in order to make a zombie villager back into a full on nice breathing villager. So we'll be able to do that shortly. I'm going to store these. So here's my cooked iron. Yeah, we have cooked iron now, guys. And I'm going to fully stock up my... Uh, <clears throat> all of my... What is it called? I'm, like, blanking right now. Fully stock up all of my coal in my cooking chests. And now all we got to do is find a freaking zombie villager. As you guys can see, these, this farm does work fairly well. The... the cow farm that i made so i do run out of wheat a little bit more faster or <clears throat> a little bit faster than i do that of uh the actual like spawning rates of the cows so i need to actually like this is why this is one of the main reasons why i want to build a villager because or build a villager farm because uh the 1.8 villagers they're able to harvest and like automatically harvest a farm for you so i really want to utilize that new uh the new skills that the villagers have and if i can uh breed a farmer villager he'll be able to automatically plant and un unplant these for me when they're grown and that'll basically make it so that the farm is efficient and i'll be able to automatically collect wheat without actually having to uh stand around and wait for the wheat to grow and i don't have to replant like i'm doing so right now but yeah, there's a lot of plans ahead, guys. Lots of stuff to do. Lots of stuff planned with these uh, new villager AIs. And uh, we'll kind of just play around with them, see what's uh, effective and what's not. But yeah, I'm going to pause the video once again here. We're going to wait for it to roll into the nighttime. And then I'm going to try to find a zombie villager and then continue recording. Uh, once again, hopefully you guys are enjoying so far. And we'll be right back in a little bit. And hope you guys stick around and uh, enjoy the show. Alright guys, we are back, and I have to say, I basically just hella failed right now, guys. I tried I tried for the longest time, I spent like 2 or 3 hours trying to freaking get a zombie villager to spawn, and you know what, it just was not working for me. So I decided to just go back to the village where I originally got the, the villagers, villagers from, like the very first couple of villagers, and I ended up uh, grabbing a couple from a nearby village, because the first village had already... Uh, run out of actual villagers but uh the thing is the, for the farm for the automatic wheat farm and automatic uh farm that i'm planning on doing i need to get a bunch of farmers so the only ones that i have here right now are like um i have a let's see i have a toolsmith i have a librarian i have an armorer and i have another librarian and then i have a butcher so as you guys can see there are no farmers in here and um, I read up on the comments and I did a little bit of research and they said that if you want them to automatically breed, you need at least one or two farmers. So I'm going to actually spend some time off camera, guys. Um, I'm going to look, I'm going to go back to the village that I did uh, get those other two uh, added villagers from. I'm going to travel back to that village, see if they have any farmers in there, and then I'll work off of camera to try to transport them. Um, another bad thing, guys, when I was transporting these uh, villagers, I was trying to fix my... 
I was trying to fix my railway system and I didn't realize and I kind of forgot that uh, the staircase is only like a one block thing and I broke the one right below me and as you guys can see I died I'm at three deaths now and as you guys see I, I lost my enchanted diamond I lost my freak I lost two good pickaxes and I lost my enchanted diamond sword I just mined off of camera to get this one back and which was like it was a pain in the ass but uh hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode i'm gonna do some work off of camera i really want to get this automatic wheat farm done or and uh so so it'll be automatically feeding the wheat to my cows and uh, i really want to get that finished very soon so hopefully you guys stick around with me if you guys enjoyed today's episode make sure you guys like comment and subscribe as always holy crap look at those four freaking withers right there but yeah once again make sure you guys like comment and subscribe um this is d field it's gonna be it for today's episode and um i'm gonna work a little bit off of camera of course to try to get more to try to get some farmers so yeah i'll see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and we will see you guys later